Stare deep inside the light of grace and I will show you images like none you've ever seen before. Of this hero, daring a journey through Elden Ring. I did turn off the UI HUD and use the PlayStation 4 screen capture. So if you don't want any spoilers for Elden Ring, now's the time to back out. The hero has awoken from a death and we open the door to this massive tree. Shortly after, we got attacked by a creature and ended up falling down underground. And we found a ghost that told us to basically fall in this hole and we would remember the ways of a warrior. After we fell down into this cavern, we began to cautiously make our way through the area. We came to a place that looked to me like a temple or a tomb. Once we were able to leave the underground, we came out to see the massive tree again always looming over us, but it was so beautiful everywhere we traveled. I captured this image of the beautiful golden tree seeming to surround the hero. We found this massive tortoise. We came across this massive sword, and you can see a little bit of the moon behind it. While resting at the grace, a woman approached the hero and offered him a gift of a whistle to summon a ghost horse to ride across the countryside. And here is an image of a hero with the ghost horse. This horse could be summoned with a whistle or disappear into nothing. The horse was amazing and it allowed us to quickly ride away from strong enemies. Another time resting by our grace site, this little witch girl shows up and offers this ability to summon spirits to help us during battle. This king's kingdom is being taken over, but he refused to retreat. He refuses to leave his castle even though it's being overrun. His daughter is searching for any kind of news to hear from him. We've told him that she's looking for him and she wants him to return to her. We heard someone crying out for help, that they were stuck and they needed someone to pull them out. It took us a long time to find who was calling out to us. I thought somebody had been stuck inside this jar, but when we pulled it out, it was a jar creature? It was the strangest thing. I just like the way the tree and the dark, strange sky together looked found this beautiful statue in some ruins. We found this massive throne. We traveled to a place known as Round Table Hold. And at the round table was a blacksmith. Also at the round table was this woman sitting on a bed, and she gave the hero an offer. And her offer was to hold them into a tight embrace. And every time we visited the round table, he longed to be in her arms. And we discovered there was an academy to learn magic. But we learned the academy had a huge barrier around it and no one can enter without having the key. There was a massive dragon that was guarding the key and we had to sneak around him, steal the key and run away with our steed. We return to the magical barrier, keeping people out of the academy, and we use the key to be able to break the barrier and enter the academy. We enter the academy where people used to learn magic, but now it's being overrun by enemies. It was so dangerous, we couldn't remain here for long. We found this massive building that had legs and was able to walk around the land. I just thought this was a beautiful view. We traveled around some ruins and we could hear this howling and we had no clue what the sound was. It sounded like a wolf and we told a merchant about it and he said he knew the wolf man and that if we made a certain gesture, he would appear before us and he did and he wanted us to hunt someone and seek revenge. I thought this was just a beautiful image of the golden tree with the moon. There was a huge fortress with a creature inside we had to fight. But we would not be able to defeat it on our own. We had to summon someone to help us to defeat it. 
We traveled to a faraway land where the sky always seemed to be like a red sunset, and we found this creature there. There was a poisonous swamp, and thankfully we had a spirit horse that if we, as long as we rode on our horse, we would not be poisoned. And just beyond the swamp was this giant skull on the mountain. It looks like some ruins. There had been a guy calling out to me, asking if I could see him, and he didn't understand why no one could see him. And it turns out he had been turned into a bush. And when I whacked my sword across it, he transformed into a person, and he offered mushrooms uh, as a gift for freeing him. And then there was this other man calling out for help. And there are monsters in the area he was scared of. And he told us how he used to have a fort. And this evil knight took it over and asked us if we could destroy the evil knight. When I was looking to try to find the fort, instead I ran into a boss and slayed it. And this knight was there, very thankful that we had taken out the enemy for him. Later, we were able to find the fortress and defeat the evil knight and return the fort to the rightful owner. A really beautiful view of the academy. We went to the round table and we gave a death route and he said he would mark on our map a portal to another world to speak to the beast. And this is the entrance into the building. We spoke to the beast and gave him a death root, and he gave us an eye to make it easier to find more death root. He also gave us an object that allowed us to cast spells. Thanks for watching. Maybe you'll watch more. Maybe the video on the left, maybe the video on the right. If you're on a mobile device and you don't see any videos on the screen, it's in the description.